I have 6,700 products in my shop, almost 1,500 orders and 274 categories on my site. If I would like to delete them one by one or by bulk, it would be a tedious task to do it manually. Therefore, in this video, I am going to show you two simple ways how to uninstall WooCommerce or how to easily delete everything you would like to delete from your shop, including the product images. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. So option one, let's uninstall the WooCommerce completely. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the WooCommerce documentation site. There is an uninstalling WooCommerce. There is an explanation what you should do. But basically, you should grab this piece of code here, copy it. Now go to your site WordPress folder by using FTP. There is a file called wp-config. Open it up, scroll down and paste this line. Now save it. Go back to the site. Go to plugins, install plugins deactivate WooCommerce and delete it. Depending on your shop size, it may take a bit more than usually deleting some kind of plugin. Now, when the plugin is deleted, then go and delete the line you pasted earlier, save it. And after that, everything has been deleted from the WooCommerce databases. That means products, orders, tags, categories, shipping information, all the WooCommerce settings and so on. You have to know though that all the media files are still there, so it's not going to delete the product images. Those you have to delete manually or do it in a way I'm going to show you later. But now let's test it whether it worked and whether it deleted everything in the WooCommerce databases. So install the WooCommerce once again. I'm going to install it and activate it. And as you see, I have to start again because all the information WooCommerce had earlier is deleted. That means all products, all the categories, all the orders, all the taxes, shipping information and so on. So basically, what did I do? I resetted the WooCommerce. But maybe this is not the thing you would like to accomplish. Maybe you don't want to reset everything, all the settings and so on. Therefore, let's move to the option number two. And option number two allows us selectively delete stuff from our shop. For example, I can delete all the orders or products or categories or whatever I would like to delete, but leave all other stuff, for example, shop settings in place and I don't have to start by scratch. So how to do that? Let's go to the plugins and add new search for store toolkit. This one here, install and activate it, skip it. And now under the WooCommerce, there is a menu called Store Toolkit. There is an overview with shortcuts. Let's go and see them one by one. Let's start with settings. So, products bulk action delete permanently, whether to show the button or hide the button. As you see, there is a delete permanently. Usually if you delete something, it goes to the trash, but this button here allows us to skip it. There is also cron option, but if you don't know what it is, then you can leave it as it is. There are also some nifty tools for you. For example, you can relink rogue products to simple product type. You can scan for corrupt variations and set simple product type. You can refresh product transients. If needed, you can generate some sample orders or autocomplete orders with zero totals. And the last one, you can unlock the edit product screen for variations. Usually I don't use them, but maybe you need them. So anyways, they are there. Now let's go to the new button here. New button allows us to delete everything. If I want to delete the products, I select it. If I don't want to delete the products and I would like to only delete the categories, I choose this one, tags, orders, rate, tax rates, and so on. At the moment, I'm going to select the products categories, tags, but I'm going to leave the orders in place. There are also options here. I can delete all the products in trash or the ones that are published or draft. The same goes with the categories. I can select only some categories I would like to delete here. And also I can delete orders by choosing the order statuses. Maybe only 
processing or completed orders or failed orders I would like to remove. Also I can filter the orders by order date and if I would like to empty WordPress tables along with the WooCommerce I can do that here. So let's test it out. I have 6800 products, 274 categories, 2100 tags, 1500 orders and so on. But I'm going to select products, categories and tags and one more thing to show you because later I have to fix this one also here. If I go to the uploads folder and open up 2021 as you see from the July I have 27.4 megabytes worth of images here. The issue with it is that store toolkit only deletes products but not the product images. Let's test it out. So I'm going to click on remove and it says chosen WooCommerce details are being nuked. This process can take a while. Some things for you to clarify read this one here but I'm gonna give the explanations here. Depending on your server this process may be stalled or revoked. If it happens then just click on resume button. As said here reopening sto store toolkit and hitting continue will resolve most issues happy nuking. So depending on the store size it may take a while to delete all the products and categories. Therefore I'm gonna pause for a minute and let you know later how long did it take to nuke all the stuff I showed you. So it took approximately five minutes to nuke all the products categories and tags here. And if I open up the image folder as you see all the images are still here. So that's the reason I'm going to show you option number three that means we're going to delete all the products and categories and tags with the images being automatically deleted. I'm gonna open up my next site here and I'm gonna install a plugin. The plugin is called Code Snippets. You don't have to do that. You can add the code I'm gonna show you in the functions PHP file of your child team, but I suggest you to use a Code Snippets plugin because that means even if you switch teams, this solution works for you. So install and activate it. Now there is a snippets menu here. Go to snippets and add new. Give it the title and paste this snippet here. Now where do you get this snippet? Take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to my blog post which contains this snippet. So run snippet everywhere, save changes and activate. Now go to the WooCommerce and store toolkit. And once again let's nuke products, categories and tags. One more thing to test it out. As you see I have almost 7000 images here. After the nuking products and categories and tags there should be less of those. But let's see. So I'm going to press remove and once again I'm going to pause the video and come back if everything is done. Okay this time it took approximately 7 minutes to clear the data I wanted to be cleared. And let's take a look what happened. If I go to the products there are no products. No categories, no tags, and if I go to the media library, there is only 129 images, and those are not the product images. And if I open up the folder itself, as you see, almost empty. Before there was 27 megabytes of images, now there is none. So clearly it's working, and that means now you know at least three ways how to uninstall the WooCommerce from your site in a way that it doesn't leave the mess behind. If you like the video then press on the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel and take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile take care.